Alright, it has been a while since I posted a video and I have some big news, but before I do that... Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the biggest bear trail I've ever seen. Come here. Come here. Oh! On the dry fly, dude. So if you can't tell, I'm pretty stoked about fly fishing right now. And that is because for my day job over at Alpha Dog Nutrition, I'm going to Montana to film a sharp tail grouse hunt. Now the cool thing about this is I talked with my boss and I'm able to go out to Montana a couple days early for some fly fishing. So that means I will be heading to the Montana mountains to do some fly fishing. Now I have a little bit of time to plan for this trip and really whenever I take a big trip like this, whether it be to a different state, to a new area of Wisconsin, or even to an area I'm familiar with, the first thing I do is check out my Trout Routes app. So I want to tell you a little bit about Trout Routes. It's an app that I think is absolutely essential for any fisherman that's, you know, serious about fishing. For trout fishing, that is. Um, if you go a couple times a year and you're excited about it and you want to see new spots, I would highly recommend it. I've been using this app for years and it is absolutely essential to me um, especially when tra planning a big trip like this. So when I found out I was going to Montana, literally the first thing I did is I looked up the location, the film location for where I was going to be at for work, and the first thing I did was find the closest trout stream, and it's a little bit of a drive, and I picked apart some areas, and I finally found kind of where I'm going to set up my base camp for the trip. I got an Airbnb for one night, and then I'm going to do some camping out of the truck and stuff like that for the other nights. And using this app, I was really able to put my camping location in a central location um, in the middle of a bunch of streams that I was really excited to try. So while I talk about this, why don't we hop over to my computer. I'm going to show you what Trout Routes looks like on the computer. And the other cool thing is it has an awesome app that you can use as well. Um, but when I'm starting the whole planning process, I definitely like to use the computer because it just gives me a bigger screen and it's a little bit easier for me. So let's dive in. So this here is the home screen and of course I'm going to log in. There is a free version as well as a paid version. I think if you are serious at all about trout fishing, the paid version is totally, totally worth it. So this is what it looks like when I log in. Now I'm going to give away some of my spots here. I'm going to try to not be too show too much. So as you can see, I live right about here in Appleton, Wisconsin, and some of my favorite trout waters are right here in central Wisconsin. Some of my trips from the Driftless area, some of the places I've been over here, and then I have done some trips in um, northern Wisconsin, and actually last weekend I went up to the UP for some fishing, and the first thing I did was get on trout routes. I marked a bunch of spots and um, left some notes for them. So this is about what I like to do. There's so many features I could talk about here on Trout Routes between the different map layers. There's the access, the guides, it gives you the different classifications of streams. Um, it gives you all of the public access points, including public land, um, different you know fishing easements and stuff like that. There's so much I could talk about, but I'm gonna talk about my favorite features. And the first one is, you know, these different map layers. So I'm on guide style right now. I'm gonna go to access. That's one of my favorite layers to use. And then I typically like to use the satellite version just so when I, you know, let's go down here to the Driftless area of Wisconsin. When I'm looking at a stream, I can really zoom in and kind of see what the stream might look like. So we're gonna go to Montana. I cannot believe I've been wanting to fish Montana for so, so long. And this is what it looks like. So. Where my film location is for the sharp tail girl sound is somewhere a little bit over here, so I have to drive past that. And at first, I was thinking about camping up in this area of Montana, but the thing I found is the streams were somewhat limited and they weren't quite what I was looking for. So what I decided to do is head down here just a little bit west of Billings. And as you can see, I've got a bunch of marks pinned, including a couple different um, campsites and 
things like that. So my favorite features are that you can mark pins on streams and leave notes. So typically when I go into a new area, I put so many marks and notes on here of places that I want to try. Um, and it all kind of depends on what type of adventure I want to have. If, you know, in this area, some of it is uh, walk-in access, some of it is just bridge locations, uh, public land, things like that. The other thing you can do is I put the star icon. These are spots that I'm super, super excited to try. And um, I leave a little note on why I want to see them. And then with all of these notes associated, some of the notes just say simply, you know, try this location, something to look at. Some of these notes have different things like what the axis might be like, what I thought looked good depending on, you know, the satellite view and things like that, or from tips that I got. You know, I might leave a note that said, this buddy told me this tip about this location, this is what we should look out for. So the notes and the ability to draw pins with different um, icons on them is huge for me. Now another thing I want to point out, so let's just zoom in here. This is a stream that I am super excited to fish. So I am going to be near, you know, Red Lodge, Montana here in the Beartooth Mountains and I have my pins. This is a campsite that I found um, on Trout Road, so I'm thinking about potentially camping here one night. But look at this access. It shows me all this public land here. If you zoom in, it shows different access points, um, different locations. And you can see some of these other campsites. You know, I don't have it pinned, but this is a campsite that I could try out if I wanted to um, in the area that I'm staying. So I've already given away a little bit as far as just the general location where I'm going, and if you're really savvy, you can hop in and see some of my pins. We'll see if it's good. If you uh, follow along for the main video when I go fishing out there and I have a great day on the water, I guess you could figure out where I'm at. But seeing as how I'm probably not going to fish Montana um, for that long, you know, I'm okay with spot burning, as people say. So another thing I want to show you is the mobile version. This app is um, absolutely just so user friendly. I I love it. Um, the other thing that is absolutely essential um, when you know trout fishing is a lot of times we're in places where you have no idea if you have service or not. And this trout routes app allows you to save areas offline so that even if you have absolutely zero service, you can still access your app. You can get the pins. You can figure out where the locations are and you can check things out. And that is absolutely essential when going on a trip like this. I have a feeling way out here in Red Lodge, Montana and up here in the Beartooth Mountains, I'm probably not going to have that great a service. So I'm really excited about that. So guys, that's just a little bit about Trout Routes. There are so many features I didn't even get into. I just kind of shared some of my favorite features that it has to offer. Um, between you know the public and private land boundaries it really helps you out to make sure you're fishing legally that's one thing whenever you go to a new state you know there's so many different regulations that vary from state to state this really helps you out to make sure you're either on public land or you have public access there's over 25,000 trout streams on this app documented across 33 states and I have to imagine more are coming it seems like every year they added more and more states to the app it's just an absolute game changer for serious trout fishermen I've been using it for years. It's one of my favorite apps, so definitely check it out. And um, I am so stoked about this Montana trip. You know, it's been a long time since I've made a video. And part of that is because I've just been really busy working with Alpha Dog Nutrition on some amazing content over there. You know, this is a fishing video, but it's no secret that I love hunting and dog work. And uh, we're putting out some really cool stuff over there, so go check that out as well. But for now, I am pumped. I'm going to keep on planning. I got several camping locations picked out. I got, as you could see, tons of pins already on there. I'm going to do a little bit of a mix between some smaller creek fishing, which is a little bit more in my comfort zone coming from, you know, central Wisconsin. And then I'm going to try some bigger river fishing, which will be completely new for me. I'm going to try hucking some big meat, which I'm not used to streamer fishing like that. But um, it's going to be an absolute blast, and I cannot wait to see you in Montana.